Already some excitement for the Big Boat Tour on the starting line. J105s are off the line next, and this time the pin end looks strong. And Monkey Dust goes back for the night. The night series, and as they cross to take the gun, it's Mirage. The Leukemia Cup, June 1st and 2nd in Annapolis. Great racing, great parties, and a great cause. It's the 20th anniversary of an event that saves lives. You can't afford to miss it. Sailors and Land Rovers are a natural fit. It's all about outdoor adventure. Jaguar Land Rover Annapolis is proud to support the AYC Wednesday Night Series. The Eastport Yacht Center on Back Creek, where the Severn meets the bay, is the perfect location for all your marine needs. It's a complete full-service marina with new floating docks and bathhouse. For more information, visit www.eastportyachtcenter.com. Hi, I'm Tucker Thompson from T2P TV. Well, it's Wednesday night again, and you know what that means. Time to go racing out here in the bay. Last week was canceled, as you know. Tonight, we've got a light breeze, but it's enough to get a race off, and this is the final race of Series 1, and there are five divisions that are tied for first place. The breeze is light, the tide is ripping out as the boats get ready to start behind me. We begin with the J105s. They are one of the five classes tied between Mystery Machine and Mirage. Mirage had to go back. The tide is pushing him over the line early. There's the gun, and it's slow at the pin. Two, break, three, three, zero, break, three, four, six, end of list. That is a long list of over earlies, including Mirage, who went back. McChesney is off. Raj just gets off the line second row, but they're in a lot of company. You can see behind them almost half the fleet rolling around that pin to restart. While the rest of the fleet sorts themselves out at the pin, hey, give that start to Andy Churner's crash. They are off. A beautifully timed start in Perf 2 for Bucentar. Now, I don't hear any X flag or see one. They just nosed up over the line in this outgoing tide. Uh-oh, standby. Nope, all clear. The lured its egos there. We'll go there, trying not to hit R6. Tight, but slow maneuvering down here. The Etchels are off next. Special Ed, Eddie Holt is leading the division. Now, 1-0-0-8 looked to my eye like they were over early, but no, no word from the race committee, all clear. Upwind, it's light. The right side is favored with the Mum for far 30s, where here Blockade Runner is tied on points with Mumbles. At the top mark for Perf Zero, Ramrod and Stray Dog are tied for the lead, but it's Commodore McNeil well out in front. Second place, boat for boat, it's a far 30. James Alsop at the helm. A slow jive set will give Charles Ang Stray Dog a chance to jive to the inside with more speed. And Ramrod gives chase to Stray Dog about a minute behind. Two guys on the bow of Chance prepare the spinnaker for what definitely looks like a jive set. It's a long starboard all the way out, long port all the way back in. And I like this paint job. You don't see too many blue hulls out here on a Wednesday night. If you're young and you want to get a chance to sail, call this man. Penn Alexander sails with a bunch of juniors, and look at the kid driving, he's got to be about nine. Downwind, it's Mumble, second overall for the far 30s, but first for the series. 
It's Dove out in the lead for the J105. Santa's little reindeer behind. The real battle, though, is between Mirage and the Mystery Machine. Mirage is ahead. Here's Mirage. They jived early while a lot of boats are still heading upwind, and that move paid off. They rounded in fourth, and they could end up in the lead by the lured mark. And I got to be honest, Pete McChesney rounded in the cheap seats, but he also jived right around the mark, and that move is looking strong. Good puff of breeze for McChesney as he tries to reel Mirage in. Look at him go, folks. There's Mirage to Leward, McChesney to Windward. They rounded a good three or four boats behind Mirage. And now Mirage is coming up to keep their air clear, sailing extra distance as the mystery machine brings breeze and the heat to Mirage. Out into the bay, the J-30s have a battle of their own going on as Bebop leads Jaguar upwind. It's getting lighter. There are big holes out here, putting a premium on tactics and strategy as these boats tic-tac their way upwind in a dying breeze. There are certainly different ways to do Wednesday nights, and I can think of one, one I'd like. Back in the race, it's the lead Etchells fighting Lady. Off on starboard. One more jiving into the finish, and these guys are looking strong. A slow but nonetheless fun night. Most of the fleet now is heading downwind and has jived onto port in the Allberg 30s. Argo has a comfortable lead over the rest of the fleet. But it's Virginia Nurko's Lin Jin who leads again overall. Downwind, it's Dove still leading in the J-105. But here's the real story. It's Mirage and Mystery Machine. A big split. Mirage down here to the left. McChesney all the way up to the right. And that could be a big gamble. There's Petey in this very slow on the water chess game. Mystery machine jibes. And by my eye, these two are just about dead even. Perf Zero leads the fleet back in, but this time the race committee has decided to finish the fleet out here. And it's a good call because it would be a long, slow ride into the harbor and the breeze is shut off out there. So, Kevin McNeil's night shift wins for the night overall. But beating a far 40 ramrod, boat for boat is a far 30, James Alsop at the helm. Nice job for Moxie, second place. Good news for Rod Javen's ramrod though, they were tied on points going into tonight. Stray Dog was ahead, but they ran aground. Give the win to Roddy Javen. And for the Etchells, Fighting Lady never gave the rest of the fleet a fighting chance. Light air dominance goes to these guys. So does victory. And here's Mumbles. They cross the line. Second overall for the far 30s, but first of the night, right, guys? Yeah, it was a, it was a tough last race, that's for sure. But uh, 
the nail biter, a lot of dissension in the crew. <laughs> <laughs> this no. way, that way. I don't know what he's talking about. Nothing a lot of drinks can't take no, care of back no, on shore. Been... Congratulations, guys. Thanks, guys. Hold on to your hats, folks, in the Albert 30s. It's Argo about to fly across the line <laughs> in first place. But Lin Jin will take victory. And now the fleet of J105s approaches the line. Remember this man, Pete McChesney, when we last left him? He was tied with Mirage and in about third place overall. Well, here completes the final jive to the finish. And he is surprisingly well out in front. And with that, Pete McChesney seals the deal. Pete McChesney, you just won Series 1 of the Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday night race series. What are you going to do? He's going to have a drink. Fill up a solo cup. Fill him up again. <laughs> <laughs> the fuel that makes it happen. And a from behind finish, too. Well done. Well, it was light, but nonetheless competitive. And light air is definitely the name of the game in Annapolis. Most of you have seen at away regattas the Annapolis people tend to do well in this type of breeze. Looks like Doghouse is going to do well back at the bar. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed our coverage of the Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday night race series conclusion of the first series. There's more to come next week and every single Wednesday this summer. I'm Tucker Thompson for T2P TV. We'll see you then. You're watching. T2P TV.